Is Atlanta the perfect city? No, certainly not, but I've lived here for most of my life and I can say that it's fantastic. So today I'm gonna give you all the reasons, big and small, why I love living in the Metro Atlanta area. By the way, if you're looking to buy or sell your home here in the Metro Atlanta area, my name's Joel. I'm a local realtor here. I would love to help you out. Please give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. My information is below in the description. You'll also see it here at the bottom of the screen. I'm always happy just to answer questions or have a conversation. The number one reason why I love living in Metro Atlanta is affordability. I will now pause and allow you to type furiously into the comments. Now that we've got that out of the way, no, you're not gonna see Atlanta on any list of affordability as far as the US is concerned. But let's face it, Atlanta is a large city with large amenities, and so yeah, it's gonna be just a little bit more expensive than a Toledo, Ohio, for example. So let's compare apples to apples, shall we? Atlanta is in the top 10 largest metros in the US, with other cities such as New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, Dallas, Houston, DC, Miami, Philadelphia, Atlanta is at number nine, and then we have Phoenix, Arizona rounding out that top 10. Of those 10 cities, Atlanta is gonna come in number three in affordability. So while yeah, it's probably average in the nation as far as affordability is concerned, you're getting a lot more bang for your buck. The number two reason why I love living here is all the different and unique areas to go to and hang out in. Metro Atlanta is enormous and it's comprised of suburbs and cities and small towns, both incorporated and unincorporated. And they all have their own unique Main Street downtown area. You take downtown Ackworth with the railroad tracks and its location to Cobble Park and Ackworth Beach and Lake Alatoona, or downtown Alpharetta with its fountain and its green space and it's close to the Avalon with the shopping and the retail and the restaurants. There's downtown Canton with the mill on Etowah. They've turned this industrial area into a really cool event space. Downtown Woodstock has the amphitheater which can hold a 5,000 person live event, the breweries and the playgrounds, and it's just so cool. Coming City Center is new on the scene, but they've got the putt-putt golf and the big stage and the walkways and all of the restaurants. No matter what you're trying to do, if you're asking yourself, what should we do tonight? What should we do this weekend? Just pick one of these areas and you are gonna be covered. Number three on our list is gonna be the weather. We do get four seasons around here. Now, caveat, those are gonna be on the warmer side. They don't call it hot Atlanta for nothing. You're gonna get about two months of 90 degree weather. The spring and the fall are absolutely gorgeous. The flowers come out in the spring the leaves change in the fall, and the winters are super mild. So while it does get cold, you're gonna be able to go outside and not hate your life. In addition to that, it doesn't really snow around here. We might get one or two days of snow in February, but honestly, we are completely unprepared. A light dusting and the whole world shuts down, and I get cabin fever really easily. I wanna feel like I'm able to come and go as I please. I don't wanna feel like I'm trapped. I don't wanna scrape it. I don't wanna have to shovel it. I don't want to gear up for it or whatever it is you guys do around the country where you have snow. So for me, that's a bonus. For some of you, that might be a negative. And finally, bonus, we don't really get natural disasters around here. Certainly don't have to worry about earthquakes, not really tornadoes, although some of you may say, well, I remember that one time a couple years ago where it touched down not too far from here. Like, yeah, okay, I get it. And then hurricanes, they're gonna tear through Florida before they get to us. And when they do finally arrive, it's usually just a bad storm. Coming in at number four is gonna be Hartsfield Jackson Airport. Is it weird to be excited about an airport? Maybe, I don't know, but I just love having access to not just the rest of the US, but the entire world. This airport is just a two hour flight to 80% of the US. It's been named the world's busiest airport and also the world's most efficient airport. So even though sometimes it can be an absolute zoo, they're gonna get you through that line way faster than a lot of the other larger airports in the world. It flies to 150 different US destinations, 70 international, 43 countries. Go ahead, name 43 countries right now. I'll wait. 
Something that doesn't get talked about a lot is just how green Atlanta is. I mean, for the ninth largest metro in the US, Atlanta is surprisingly lush with trees from magnolias to dogwoods, southern pines and oaks. Just go ahead and Google city in a forest and you'll see what I'm talking about. The tree canopy really takes you by surprise. And it's not just tree-lined streets. There are parks around every corner, shaded walkways, and even trees along the highway. Nature just always seems to be right around the corner, whether it be every city having multiple large parks, walking trails. We have great rivers like the Etowah and the Chattahoochee. I know at least in my area, there's an arborist assigned to all of these new communities. And in my neighborhood alone, we had to have at least two trees in everyone's front yard, continuing that idea of keeping Atlanta green. Another reason to love Atlanta is the food. We have not only a lot of different styles of food like Cuban, Southern, Thai, Indian, but also a lot of different restaurant genres like fine dining, casual, bars, food trucks, and even an emergence of food markets like Pont City Market or Marietta Food Market where you can get all sorts of different types of food like Szechuan or Mexican or Italian all under one roof. Let me just rattle off a few of my favorite places to eat around here. St. Cecilia's, King and Duke, Two Urban Licks, Twisted Soul, The Optimist, and The Gun Show. Drop it in the comments below. Where do you love to eat around Atlanta? Number seven on our list of why I love Atlanta is gonna be the music scene. This is the city that brought you Usher, John Mayer, Outkast, TLC, Ludacris, The Black Crows, Ray Charles, and Sugarland. We have tons of different venues, both large and small, with all sorts of acts coming through. And Atlanta's a large city, so you know they're gonna be rolling through here on their tour. There's the Tabernacle, Variety Playhouse, Ameris Bank Amphitheater, Coca-Cola Roxy, Buckhead Theater, The Earl, The Fox, all bringing a different level of intimacy for their audience. You'll also find free concerts in parks and around all the different cities, and of course, our largest stage, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Number eight is gonna be the friendly people. Locals in Atlanta are incredibly warm and inviting. And even though Atlanta is a large metro, in a lot of ways, it's really just a collection of small towns. This makes it really easy to make friends and network. The Southern hospitality shows up in force with friendly hellos or a good story, whether you're at a party or a bar. Do I have any data to back this up? Absolutely not. How do you measure friendliness? Number nine on our list is gonna be the stable job market. There are tons of companies that headquarter out of Atlanta. Chick-fil-A, Delta, Home Depot, Coke, UPS, Equifax, Newell, MailChimp, tons of others offering tons of job opportunities. And then we have medium-sized companies supporting those larger corporations and small companies supporting those medium-sized companies. We have an excellent job market here. In addition to that, Alpharetta, a suburb of Atlanta, is considered the tech center of the South with all of its different tech jobs available. If you're an entrepreneur, there was an Atlanta Journal-Constitution article that says, for people who want to not only start a career, but also start their own business, Atlanta ranks as the sixth best large city. In addition to all of that, WalletHub analyzed data on the 150 most populated cities in the U.S. across two dimensions, professional opportunities and quality of life. Those dimensions were broken down into 26 different metrics, ranging from availability of entry-level jobs to projected population growth. Atlanta? Number one. And last on our list of why I love Atlanta is gonna be sports. Yep, plot twist, bet you didn't see that coming. I hear it a lot, Atlanta is a terrible sports town. But listen, we are just one of 14 cities in the US that has at least four of the major sports teams. We have the Falcons, the Hawks, the Atlanta United, and the Braves. If you're into college football, we have Georgia State and Georgia Tech. And oh, by the way, the multiple time national champion, UGA, in Athens, just about an hour east of us. And this is the city that has hosted the Olympics 
multiple Super Bowls. We get Final Four for March Madness. I think we've had it like five times. We always get a couple bowl games for college football and we're gonna get a piece of the World Cup in 2026. So certainly rooting for the Falcons is a miserable experience and the Hawks can feel like Sisyphus constantly getting to the playoffs only to inevitably be disappointed. But you know what? If you want sports, we have it here. I mean, except for hockey, but who cares? So is Atlanta the perfect city? Well, no, we've got our troubles just like everybody else, but there are a ton of reasons to love living here. Hey, if you were looking to buy a home or sell your home in this area, I would love to help you out. My information is below in the description. You'll also see it here at the bottom of the screen. And if this was helpful, if you like this, please hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notifications bell so you can stay up to date on everything that's going on around Atlanta. I'll see you in the next one.